Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here, and welcome back to another Reaper Reviews. Uh, today, what I have to review for you is the Spirit Halloween 2004 to 2006 animated The Rotten Heads. Now, these were a couple of items I was not expecting to acquire this year. Um, I was at an antique store today looking for jemmy items and what have you for Christmas, and, well, out of the corner of my eye, I came across these items, and I tell you, they are so cool. And, uh, well, I got them for $20, believe it or not, at the antique mall. 20 bucks. Yeah, that's a steal of a price. Uh, they are very, very well detailed, uh, but before I get into showing you the detail on these guys, uh, I first want to show the box. Yes, they do have their original boxes. Um, or, well, the original box, rather. Um, here it says, The Rotten Heads, the most sarcastic, insulting, animatronic party crashers you'll ever have inside your home. And um, as you can see from the uh, price tag right here, they were sold at Spirit and Spencer's for $70. Um, now if we turn the box to the side, the, uh, picture continues onto the side of the box. Uh, here it says, motion activated, blinking red LED eyes, jaws move when they talk, uh, requires three AA batteries. Uh, here's the back of the box. It says, the rotten heads. Uh, it says, it really doesn't matter who invited these two to the party, they're now here to stay. Just set up Sid and Lester no more than 10 feet apart. Then listen to the fun begin when something walks between them. There's no need to entertain them. They'll have fun enough with you and your guests as the topic of, of their conversation. Oh, they'll sing for you also. And then... Uh, here's the top of the box. It just says the rotten heads, motion activated, animatronic... Sarcastic, insulting, laughing, talking, singing, decapitated zombie heads. And then, here's the other side of the box. Um, where it has, like, Spencer's and, like, where their headquarters is located. Um, it, it has the original instructions and all the original bubble wrap. And now if we open the box here. As you can see... 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, I'm just as surprised as you are that I found them for this much. For, for an item that's really, really rare, that's a great price. And to be quite honest with you, it's quite sad that these guys are pretty much forgotten now. Because, I mean, yeah, I get it. Um... People are focusing on the uh, newer animatronics like Bog Zombie or Betty Sharp and props like that, you know, that are more advanced now and whatnot, you know, like Bog Zombie, Grimm, and what have you. But back in the day, back in the early 2000s, they, these are the animatronics that we had, and at the time, they were very advanced for the early 2000s. Um, now if we get into the detail here, uh, let me bring Lester up close here. The detail on these guys is absolutely immaculate, meaning that it's just phenomenal, the amount of detail. They actually look like decaying, rotting, um, zombie skeleton heads. And, um, it's actually funny, Lester... His mouth moves so much that as he talks, slowly he starts turning on the base. Uh, they they are they aren't locked down to the base, so you can have them on their stand, or just have them sitting um, as like groundbreakers, I guess. But yeah, um, they are very, very, very cool animatronics. I am very, very happy to have them. And like I said, I was not expecting to acquire them this year. Um, this was a surprise find. Now, they are for Christmas um, from my aunt, but um, 
she's letting me uh, keep them here uh, temporarily so that way I can do my review on them, uh, do a demo and the haul video on them. Um, so yeah, uh, but then after that they're going to go away for Christmas, but it won't be too long until I get them back, you know, because they are Christmas presents. So yeah. Um, I guess now, without further ado, um, let's get into activating them. Looks like we've got some real winners tonight, Lester. Oh no. I hate it when they do this. Hey Lester, how come every other holiday has more songs than Halloween? Sometimes they like to glitch out. Here, let me turn them so that way they're more facing towards each other. Here we go. Oh, Halloween is here again. Oh, man. <sighs> Dang it, I don't know why they do this. They're kind of glitchy. It's the holiday that makes you scream. Ah. Uh. Ugh. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Um, these things sometimes don't want to interact with each other. And, um, yeah. As, as you could tell earlier in the review. But I was able to get them to interact with each other again. So I guess now, without further ado, let's, uh, show... Let me show you all their phrases. Oh, would you look at that? So yeah, guys, as you can see, um, they, they interact with each other, which, which in my opinion is, um, really, really cool. And I, I wish Spirit would do, uh, props like these again, or release props like these again, as they, we haven't seen interactive 
talking props for God who knows how long. It's been quite a few years. The last time we saw interacting talking props um, was in 2013 with the talking cherubs. But but these two right here are um, examples of classic talking props or, you know, that interact with each other. Like the uh, Take One uh, Deadbeat Brothers that was sold at Target back in 2007 or 2008. I'm not 100% sure on the date. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll play a couple of their phrases one more time. But yeah, guys, um, that 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 pretty much does it for my review on the Spirit Halloween animated, uh, the Rotten Heads. Um, like I said at the beginning of this review, um, I got them for twenty bucks at an antique mall uh, today, and uh, if you guys can find them for a good price, I highly recommend picking them up. They are awesome and. Uh, they will definitely play a part in um, my haunt next year. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and bye.